Welcome to Hotel Trouble. Meet Sally, our receptionist. Always service with a smile. And that's Lenny. He's a man of many talents. We're just not sure what they are yet. And here's Mrs. Poshington and her cat, General Sirius Poshington. She's our regular pest, uh, I mean, guest. <sighs> she never leaves. Which just leaves me, Jamie. I'm the bellboy. Can I take your back? Morning, Mrs. Washington. What's the complaint today? I mean, what can I do for you today? Well, you can explain the shower situation to me. No problem. It's a small white box on the wall of the bathroom. If you press the on button, water will shoot out of the window, enabling you to wash. That's not what I meant. What I want to know is why, instead of my shower producing water, it seems to be sprouting. Pineapple juice. Don't worry, I'll have it changed immediately. Thank you. Would you like orange juice or lemonade instead? I don't want it changed for another soft drink. I want my shower to give me water. H2O. Water. Do you understand? Yes, of course. Water. Still or sparkling? Sally. Well, don't worry, Mrs P. I'll get it all sorted for you. Why don't you go put your feet up in the TV room, hey? Sound nice? Mm -hmm. uh, sorry I'm late again, Jamie. <laughs> what was it this time, Lenny? Your dog ate your bus money. Your dog ate your bus timetable. Your dog ate your bus. <laughs> don't be silly, Jamie. I'm gonna make up a daft excuse like that. Well, why are you late, then? My uh, alarm clock didn't go off. Why? <sighs> My dog ate it. <laughs> All right, Lenny, well, at least you're here now. Can you go and take a look at the shower in Mrs. Washington's room, please? Again? I fixed that yesterday. Yes. Why doesn't that surprise me? Ah. Oh, right, yeah, this is it. Yep. Bang, straight down, sweet as. Absolutely. Uh, oh. Hello, gentlemen. Can I help you? Yes, you can. You can tell me who's in charge here. Um, well, I am, I suppose. And who would like to know? Uh, we would, mate. That's why we just asked. Ignore my colleague, he's an idiot. We are me, Mr. Wreck, and he, Mr. Ball. Westlife. West Side. St still works. Doesn't work. It does. Look, we're from Wreck and Ball Demolition Services. Demolition! Who are you? I'm Jamie, the bellboy. <laughs> well, Mr. the bellboy. We are here to serve you a notice. It's actually my turn to read it. I'm actually, doing it. You well, might as well just let me time. do it. You know, I'm a bit taller, more professional. Looks better. This is Can I have it, please? I'm gonna do That's it. Fine. I hereby serve notice that this establishment will be demolished today at 5 p.m. Yeah. as p.m. as set out in our five previous warning letters to this address. I would have done it better. <laughs> Did it really well. Demolished. What, what are you talking about? We didn't receive any warning letters. <laughs> yeah. Not our problem, pal. Play the game, mate. This flea pit is a danger to the public, and the council have instructed us to get rid of it. Have a nice day. Laters, losers. <laughs> this must be a joke. Yeah, yeah, this, this hotel's getting demolished. I'll believe it when I see it. <laughs> Don't believe it. Sally, we've got a massive problem. Is this about the shark in room 17? Ah! All right, we've got two massive problems, but this is priority. Lenny, Lenny here, good. Look, guys, we need to think fast, or at five o'clock, this hotel is gonna be demolished. So come on, the clock is ticking, and we need a brilliant idea. I've 
got it. Yes, honey. An orange that can transform into a banana. An orange that can transform into a banana? Yep. Yeah, Lenny, that's a brilliant idea, but not one that can actually help us today. Think, people, think, come on. I've got it. I know exactly what we need. What? A petition. Oh, bless you. No, 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 a, a petition. We need to gather the support from the public. We are going to protest and get ourselves on the telly. Excuse me, excuse me. Can I just ask you uh, if you'll sign this petition to save hotel trouble so it doesn't get demolished? Like, I don't want to press you or anything, but if yeah. you don't, I will punch the rabbit. No. Hello. I wish I was a little bit taller. I wish I was a baller. I wish I had a girl who looked good. I would call her. Wish I had a rabbit in a hat with a bat. A six -point this is the way it's gonna go, I'm afraid. Like Save hotel nights, trouble, please. Sign the petition. No, I'll keep. You know I seems like I scheme a way to make her mine. Cause I know she's living fat. Her boyfriend's tall and he plays ball. So how am I gonna compete with that? Cause when it comes to playing basketball, I'm always last to be picked, and in some cases never picked at all. So I just need a. <laughs> All I'll you need to do it. is sign, or I will carry on attacking the rabbit. I'll sign it, I'll sign it. High five, he's signing it. Yes. I know it will get people to sign if we say that if they sign, we'll give them a kiss or, or a hug. A kiss? Kiss, kisses. Kisses, kisses for signatures. Can I just get one little kiss on the cheek, please? Kisses for signatures. Kiss to save our hotel, please. Can I have a kiss on the cheek? It's for a good cause. This is for signatures. It's signing petition sent by hotel. Yes. No. Hey. Kiss me. No, kiss me. Me kiss. Me. Me. Kiss me. Kissing me. Kissing. Petition me kiss. Mm. Doing. Sorry, are... Mrs. P, this is an emergency. Yes, but I'm watching yeah, Beach really City, TV. and it's uh, the final <laughs> cliffhanging episode, and I want to see what happens. Beach City! I read about that in the paper. It turns out that Tony is actually Shane's uncle's brother's sister's cousin's neighbour's old friend from ages ago's best friend's ex-wife. And they find the hidden treasure in the treehouse. And thank you very much. No worries. Glad I can help. Oh, you're quiet, everyone. This is it. This is it. And finally, there was a public protest in support of Hotel Trouble, which is due to be demolished at 5 o'clock. In order to stop the demolition, a petition would need to be signed by 5,000 or more local people. 5,000? So far, the Save Hotel Trouble petition has received only... 56 signatures. Ah. Uh with 46 of those signatures coming from the same person, a mysterious man known only as Lenny. You're welcome, mate. I'm sorry, Lenny. It looks like Hotel Trouble is going to be demolished, whether you like it or not. Oh, what? <laughs> That's it, then. We're ruined. We need a miracle. Are you ruined and in need of a miracle? Yes. Is your hotel about to be smashed to the floor by an evil demolition company? Yes! If you answered yes to three or less of those two questions, then look no further than Cheatham & Co. Cheatham & Co! Hang on. This could be just what we need. Our team of lawyers will support you through the dispute and almost definitely, probably, stop the demolition on time. Or just afterwards. <laughs> At Cheatham & Co, we are successful in four out of five of our cases, 76% of the time. So what are you waiting for? Pick up the phone and call us now. Well, that's it. That's what we need. We need to get ourselves a top lawyer. Yeah? Yeah, right. Do you know how much these lawyers cost? Millions. Yeah, or even worse, thousands. Well, I mean, just the threat of having a fancy lawyer might put Wrecking Ball off for a bit. I mean, it's worth a try anyway. I won't waste any time setting your demolition gear up. This hotel's going to be saved by our brilliant lawyer. What brilliant lawyer? Well, we haven't 
got one yet. No, and you won't get one, will you, mate? Have you any idea how much those lawyers cost? I know, thousands, millions. Or even worse, hundreds. Exactly. Well, look, listen up, Sunshine, or Bellboy, Jamie, if that's... Is that your name? Right, this building is coming down. Well, what makes you so sure? Because I'm a demolition man, right? Demolition! This is what I do. Demolition man. In my career, I've served 5,001 demolition notices. And do you know how many buildings I've actually demolished? 5,004. That's right. 5,004. 5,004? What do you mean, 5,004? Well, there was that job last year where we were supposed to just take out that power station, but we also took out that local library by mistake. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, technically that, that did happen. And that football stadium. Yeah, all right, that's enough. <laughs> yes. And that vintage car showroom yes. as well. Remember that owner? <laughs> he was mad! Yeah, but thank you, Mr Ball. Right. Look, my point is this. We're demolition men, right? And when we put our minds to it, we smash things to pieces. Get over it. Hey. What are you doing, Ball? Drop me clipboards! Our clipboards. Ours. Sally, I've got a complaint. What's the complaint this time, Mrs. Washington? It's that awful wrecking ball. It's sitting right outside my window and blocking out most of the daylight. Why don't you close the curtains? No! That'd block out all of the daylight. All right, keep your wig on. I've told you before, this is not a wig. It's my real hair. Oh, and these are my real nails. Oh, I've never been so insulted in all my life. Oh, well, what about the time that Lenny said that your moustache looked like his dad's one? Oh, honestly. Right, team, I reckon Ball have called our bluff on this, so now we really need that lawyer. Think, everyone, think. How can we raise enough cash? What skills do we all have? Oh, well, I can read Gossip magazine from front to back in 11 minutes flat. Please release me. Let me go. Right. Anything else? Uh, oh, I can stick my tongue out and touch my nose. Really? Yeah? Please. OK, guys, here we are. So we need to get enough money to get that lawyer. We're going to have to use our skills, our talents, to do that. So, Lenny, you go that way. Sally, you go that way. And I'm going to go this way. Right. Come on. Ladies and gentlemen, roll up, roll up to see the greatest show on earth today. Would you like to have a traditional eye reading? I can read your eyes for you? I want to draw a portrait of you. It will take one minute. Would you like a traditional eye reading? I can read your eyes for you. Thank you. I think you're going to have a lot of good luck in your life. That's five pounds, please. Yeah. It's for hotel trouble. OK, I, uh, I'm going to draw a portrait of you. Mm-hmm. Yes. This may be my best bit of art I've ever done in my life. I need a big donation. It is for good cause. We, you know, we're trying to save the hotel, and I, I need your money. 5p, 10p, 200 pounds. This is going to be having you digging deep in your pockets. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. Here we go. Yes! <laughs> Hotel Trouble! Amazing. We actually raised enough money to hire the lawyer. Oh, brilliant. Oh, I knew we would. Yes. 
but if I deduct the money we need to replace the antique crockery you smashed during your blindfolding juggling routine, that leaves us with less money than we started with. Oh. Oh, my mum always said less is more. Yes, Lenny, but in this case, less is less. Now, where's Sally gone? Uh, she said something about a crisis in the TV room. What crisis? It's like I live a thousand lifetimes. Sally, how can you sit around at a time like this? I'm helping a guest with her query. Now, what was your question, Mrs. Postington? Uh, which one is Kian again? Is that him? No. That's Mark. There, that's Kian. I like Shane. He's well gorgeous. Uh, yes, well, sorry to interrupt, ladies. And, and Sally, it's great that you're helping the guests for once. Will you please help me for a change and stop watching pop videos? I can't believe it. You always have to... Hang on a minute. Pop videos? We should make a charity pop video. We'll raise loads of money to save the hotel. Sally, you're brilliant! There, that works, Jan. No, that's Nicky. Oh. OK, Mr. John, you're in room 20. And I'll just... Uh... Oh, hi, Elton. Lenny, I've got it. We need to record a pop video in aid of Save the Hotel Trouble Fund. Oh, brilliant idea. I've always fancied being in a pop video. Yeah, but who can we get to record the song for us? I mean, really, we need someone who is brilliantly talented and world famous. Yeah, but where are we going to find a person like that in a place like this? Anyway, Mr. John, I must warn you, the heating's packed in, there's no hot water and the toilet's broke. But other than that, please, enjoy your stay. You're right, Lenny. We're never going to get anyone famous staying here. We're going to have to take matters into our own hands. Do you mean...? Yes. We need to write the pop song ourselves. So help us now in our quest. Help us now in our quest. Treasure chest. Treasure chest, <gasps> treasure chest. Pink chest! No, 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 no. Treasure chest, and then we can go on a treasure hunt. Like a treasure hunt. And, and then, then we can all go out, to... and I can buy like loads of pink vests for us. Guys. And then I can like customize them and the put like song. sequins on and stuff. The song. The song. So help us now in our quest, we'll work together. And wear pink vests. And, and treasure chest. Lenny, you're drawing a picture of a cat. Here I go. Ah, oh, ah, oh, ah. Oh. Here I go. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna spit yes. it. I'm gonna spit my lyric.
Up next, Rihanna with her latest hit single, Don't Stop the Music. Why is it taking so long? I don't know. Lenny should be there by now and the tape should be playing out. Oh, I'll give him a call. Hello? Lenny, it's Jamie. Why isn't the video on the telly yet? Oh, Jamie, brilliant. I was just about to give you a call. I think I might be a little bit lost. I mean, I followed the map you gave me. And I should be at the TV station now, but I, I can't see it. Well, what can you see? Uh, oh, a cafe <laughs> and uh, a lifeguard and a couple of people swimming. Lenny, are you standing in a swimming pool? Yeah, yeah, I am. Then you're holding the map upside down. Oh, so I am. Oh, thanks, Jamie. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Lenny, you've still got the tape, haven't you? Remember, that's the only copy we've got. Don't you worry about that. I've still got the tape nice and safe in my pocket. Lenny? Lenny? Is the tape ruined? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it is. No! What happened? The tape's ruined! No! Demolish our hotel. Oh, I'm sorry, it's too late. No, no, it's never too late. Listen up, everyone. Listen. People of Hotel Trouble, do not run and hide. We must stand together and fight. This hotel is a place where people come from all over the world. A place where children play happily in the games room. But only until 7 p.m. But only until 7 p.m. And as long as they're accompanied by an adult. And as long as they're a comp... Yes, thank you, Sally. Yeah. Look, the point I'm making here is that this hotel is our world, and it's our life. So you might take our hotel, but you'll never take our freedom! OK. Demolition will start in 60 seconds. Mr. Ball. I'm all over it. what I want to talk to you about. Yeah, because you probably want to complain about it. Well, soon there won't be anything for you to complain about, because there'll be nothing in this hotel left. Nothing, I tell you! But there will be, if only you let me speak. Oh. All right, Mrs. P. One last complaint for old time's sake. But I haven't got a complaint. I wanted to tell you that the demolition is wrong. I know it's wrong. I feel your pain, Mrs. P. I think it's wrong, too. No, literally wrong. Read the demolition notice. They're supposed to be demolishing the building next door. Mrs. P, you're right. I love you, and I'm going to give you a big kiss. Really? No. Oh, oh no. well, please yourself. Please, Mark. Ah, oh, Jamie. Time to leave, my friend. Yeah, but could you just read that demolition notice one last time? Yeah, I'll do it. Love to, mate. Here goes. Listen up. You might learn some. I hereby give the final notice of the intended demolition of the building situated at 52A Lancaster Street. Yeah, say that address again. I will say it again. Make sure you listen, son. Okay. 52A Lancaster Street. Yeah, that's next door. <laughs> What? what? That's next door. It's an old disused warehouse. We're 52B Lancaster Street, not 52A. What? Let me have a look at that. Yeah, that's... that's... <laughs> <laughs> that it, it does appear 
that we, well, M Mr. Ball here has made a slight mistake. Oh, great, I thought it might be me. It's his fault. So the hotel's not getting demolished? Um, uh, no. Great, we're saved! The hotel's been saved! All right, there's no need to get overexcited. This place is still an old, rancid flea pit. And one day, we will come back and we will demolish it. One day. <laughs> <laughs> Really sorry about the confusion. Have a nice day. Mr. Ball, we're leaving. Bagsy driving. What's going on, Jamie? Lenny, the demolition's been called off. We're saved. Turns out they were supposed to be demolishing the warehouse next door, not ours. Oh, so my dad was right after all. What? What, what do you mean? Well, you know my dad works for the council, right? No, I didn't know that. On. Well, yeah, you know, when all this demolition nonsense started earlier, I gave him a ring to see if there's anything he could do. So he checked the council notices and he said there was no order to demolish our hotel at all. But, wait for it, there was one to demolish that old warehouse next door. Really? <laughs> yeah. Anyway, he said that stupid old Mr. Wreck had probably got the address wrong and that we oh, had nothing to worry about. <laughs> Really? Yeah. Oh, we've all had a really good laugh about it. <laughs> yeah. And you didn't think maybe it was worth bringing this to my attention earlier on, did you? Well, there wasn't much time, really, was it? You know, what, running around, trying to find ways to raise money to stop the... Uh, to stop the, the what, Lenny? The, the demolition. Oh, oh yes. So if, I, if I'd have told you earlier, we wouldn't have had to... Uh, Shall I start running now? Yeah, if you would, please, yeah. <laughs> Sally? What? Uh, I'm going to be out for an hour, so can you take any calls? Where will you be? Uh, chasing Lenny around the car park. Lenny! Hello, Hotel Trouble.